everyone. Welcome back to My Sugar TV. My name is Tony Song and I am your host. So uh, on today's episode, I'm going to show you what it felt like to have a, a Minimed Medtronics pump on. Um, so I had uh, an opportunity to do that and um, I'll show you how it uh, felt to install one or to put one on and, uh, and how it felt to have it on during the day. Uh, to give a bolus with it and then kind of give you an idea of what I liked about it and what I didn't like about it. So um, hope this helps you as far as getting an understanding of, uh, of pumps. Uh, now on the previous uh, maybe like two or three episodes behind um, I had an Omnipod on and that was pretty good and uh, this will be the Medtronics and then a couple of weeks from now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get an opportunity to try the Ping um, which is made by uh, One Touch, and um, I think uh, Animus used to, uh, the name of the, the pump used to be an Animus, um, and then they got bought out by uh, One Touch. So I'll get an opportunity to use that one as well, and, um, and then I'll give you an idea of how it felt uh, to have those on. So um, hope this helps you out, and um, enjoy it. Push the air in Saline. to the vial. Okay. Well, it comes back over. <coughs> and this works better with insulin than saline because saline doesn't like to draw out as well. Mm. Get the uh, bubbles out. Yeah, exactly. And saline tends to be very bubbly compared to insulin. Uh, right. So. Now, is it is it really important to get every little drop out? I mean, no. Um, we say wise? champagne bubbles are okay. Yeah. But the big bubbles you want out. Um, a big bubble in your tube in your line actually could be two hours of your basal mm. that you're missing. Sure. So that's why that's important. But they can check their line like once a day and look for a big bubble too if they're concerned and they can push out, they can disconnect and prime out that bubble. Got it. So I like to take it kind of like a level and see, make sure. Oh, see, got a big bubble. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, to push that little guy up there. And this flips back over. Sometimes I'll even just scar a little bit out the top. Like this comes off. And this twists out the back. And then we have our little. Okay. Reservoir. This is kind of like a teacup, all that like a teacup, what do you say? <coughs> and this is called a serter device. This is going to help the patient insert it under their skin. And it just gets pushed under there. There's adhesive. This comes off. You can use the needle guard to push that down. Then you want to remove the needle guard. Now we have this ready. Okay. The tubing just snaps right on here. Now we want to get the pump ready. We're going to rewind the pump. So we got to rewind, pull the piston all the way back. Hmm. Now I'm going to insert the reservoir in here. Slide it in. Now I'm going to keep, this even tells you, the pump screen tells you, disconnect from your body. So it's making sure you're disconnected from your previous infusion set. And then I'm going to hold the ACT button down to prime. So I'm just going to keep my finger on the ACT button. Right now the piston's moving up to the reservoir. And then I'll know when it hits the reservoir because it'll start to push units through. Mm. Now I'm just going to look and wait till I see drops of insulin, which is usually, there we go. So now this is ready to be inserted. squeeze the two buttons on the side. One, two, three. Push the button in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And then the needle <laughs> comes <laughs> out. No. Needle's out. Needle guard folds up. And then the last step on the pump says fixed prime. Mm -hmm. That's going to fill the little cannula that's now placed under the skin. Okay. So we're going to do a little fixed prime. And you know, I gotta get you a clip out of the car. And now you're connected. Okay. And now so you gotta know how to disconnect. Do we have to, uh, when we're doing these surveys, put a new vial of saline in it? Nope. No. no. Okay. Yep. So you can stick the pump in your pocket okay. now. Cool. Very nice. And the way you disconnect is you oh, just pinch. On, you mean on here? Yep. Yeah. You pinch the sides right there. And I can show you. And you twist. You line that up. Ah. Hi everyone. Um, so this is the first day that I have the um, the uh, Medtronic pump on, and something that I just noticed I wanted to show you. Um, I'm not too sure what happened, but uh, there's some blood in the uh, in the tubing. So let me show you that. You can really see that, but you s there it is. And I don't know if that means that the pump is occluded, maybe at the at the top here, or something else. So I'm going to have to ask the uh, the customer service about that. You see that? And up here, you can actually see a little bit of blood a little bit right there yeah just a little bit of blood in there so anyways um, something new anyways I'll I'll ask him to find out what that is hopefully it's nothing serious So, the thing it left is a little bruise, a circular bruise. Not too sure what that's from though. So, I'll find out. But um, outside of that, everything looks pretty good. No rash on the adhesive area. And uh, that's pretty nice. But I'll find out about that. And sorry about the uh, no sound on the previous uh, se section of the video I forgot to um, to plug in the microphone anyways uh, so that's that's what that is